2000 years ago Kushans migrated from China and established an empire with its center in Afghanistan. Kanishka was the most famous Kushan king who ascended the throne in 78 CE. They controlled a large territory in present-day Pakistan and India up to Mathura, Allahabad and also the trade routes passing between India, China, Iran and Rome. This era witnessed the expansion of trade between the countries and rise of religious preachers, scientists and artists. People got the opportunity to know about each other's customs, religious and philosophical thinking, art and architecture, etc. Large number of gold coins are in use from this period. In 78 CE, with the ascension of Emperor Kanishka, a new era began called Shaka era or Shakabda. This era is 78 years behind the common era and many South Indians use this calendar to this day. Guptas began their rule in Bihar over a small kingdom and extended from Gujarat to Bengal and Delhi to Madhya Pradesh. Chandragupta I, Samudragupta, Chandragupta II, Kumaragupta and Skandagupta are the famous kings of this dynasty. The two major developments that took place in Indian political system are they allowed the old kings to continue to rule accepting the superiority of Guptas and Gupta kings, gave villages to Brahmins with full administrative rights and which need not pay any taxes to the king. The famous Mehroli Iron Pillar in Kutub Minar in Delhi was set up by Chandragupta II who was also called Vikramaditya. This pillar is not rusted despite standing in open air for the last 1700 years. Guptas patronized Vaishnavism, Shaivism and also Brahmanic religious practices like Ashwamedha sacrifice. The Gupta kings also patronized and gave grants to Buddhist stupas like Sanchi stupa and Jaina monasteries. Beautiful temples were built during Gupta period and some of them are still existing today in Deogarh and Udaigiri in Madhya Pradesh, Bhitragao and Iran in Uttar Pradesh. These temples also contain beautiful stone sculptures dedicated to Vishnu and Shiva. Gupta period is also famous for some of the best sculptures of the Buddha from Sarnath. 